today we show a little of everything in my exercise in, in my, my training program arms, shoulders, back and, and uh, chest that we're going to show today. Okay, we start with the uh, biceps and, and uh, cables is always good to start with when you warm up like a biceps. You have the full range from bottom to the top like this and it also easy and nice for the joints. I usually do like um, four to five exercises, biceps, the same with triceps. I do one exercise with biceps, three sets, in the motion of eight to 15, 20 reps. Then I go to triceps and do the same there, three sets, eight to 15, 20 reps. So this was the first one, uh, biceps. And now I'm going to show you, show you the, the triceps, a good exercise. The rope is also really good with the cables to warm up the joints and the uh, rope is something that me and a lot of other pros start with. So, full range of motion from bottom, top and squeeze the muscle all the way down. the two main exercises I do for warm-up. Then I usually go over and do like um, barbell curl. Then I can do dips for triceps. Then I do like a machine concentration curl for biceps. And um, I can use um, an ESF barbell behind my neck up. And then go on and go on and I mean I always do different exercises from session to session but we're going to do one more exercise triceps and one more for, for uh, biceps so you, so you see what we're doing The good things with doing biceps and triceps together is that you get a really good pump in your arms. A lot of blood flow and that make your arm grow even more. So from bottom to top. Okay, now we are over the shoulders and we start with some uh, side laterals. I usually do like two exercises for, for side laterals, two for rear dead, one for the front shoulders and two, three press exercises and then I usually end up with the uh, shrugs. I'm not going to show you everything and nothing heavy but just a little what we start with. Okay, so let's, let's start here.
Yeah, we also start with start with one easy rep, twelve rep. Then we go for ten. Then the last one around eight reps. So it's important to see. It doesn't matter how how exactly you lift the weight. The important is to have a great good pump. So for for many people that train, they can go very very heavy. It's good if you go heavy if you're strong and have the right technique. Otherwise, take a lighter weight and squeeze it and get the pump in the muscle. Otherwise, you will never grow. Can okay, we do one more set just to show to show the people how we do it? Side lateral, you can do it with dumbbells, cables, machines, plates, everything. Now we'll go to do a press that cover the whole shoulders. Uh, for, for, for press, uh, you can do like dumbbell press, barbell press with free, free barbell, you can do with a Smith machine. You can do it different kind of machines to have in the gym. Hammer is one of the best exercise uh, machines in the world. It is the best. And uh, at Muscle World they have a lot of hammers for different muscle groups. So today I'm going to do, do the presses in, in the hammer machine. In the future we'll see the hardcore, but here is one of the absolute the best shoulders exercises. cover upper delt, rear delt, front delt, almost the whole, whole, whole shoulders. I'll take off my shirt uh, one more time so you can see more direct way, where the, the exercise take as most. The weight is not that heavy but you will see how the muscle work. So let's take off the shirt. From, from the middle and up. Okay. Here's a, a not good and uh, nice and easy machine for, for rear delt that everybody as a new starter and as a pro can use. So watch and see how I do. I do it slow so you see the motion. Okay, you can keep the hands like this way or this way. Take it this way. Perfect on the rear delts. You can't miss it. Okay, now we will go over to um, show some uh, back exercises, and we start with I think uh, one of the easiest and uh, where you have in every gym, and it's uh, left pull down. So hang on. 
And now we are by the lat put down. One uh, exercise that is good. You have three weights. You have uh, this. You have a different hammer and other machines. But this is a machine that you have everywhere. You can have all different kind of grip. If you have like a wide grip like this, take more on the width. If you take narrow grip like this, take more on the lower lats. But this I will show now is for the for like a regular lat exercise. And important is not good to heavy. You should sit straight like this. Squeeze your muscle. This is for the upper back and the lats and all the way down. You can also do, if you see up here, called shins. I'm too lazy for that today. That's why I show this one. I will show the opposite grip. Let's squeeze for the lower lats. That I can do here in the same machine. I will go on the opposite way. So I don't use my body weight uh, to, to pull down the, the bar, bar without I'm using my lower back to, to uh, squeeze it. Then you can wrap out the last one. So when I have this grip, it's more on the lower lat. The other way is more on the upper widen. This is two different exercises for, for uh, pull downs from over. Now we're going to show you um, two different row exercises. When you do lats, it's more from the, from the up, it's more the lats here between your shoulders and the lower the lats. When you do exercise like barber row, dumbbell row, different machine row, course it worked the lats but at the same time it work the deep on the back and all the details and same here when you do it do it with a weight you can handle squeeze the weight and do like three four sets we're going to start with um, it's actually Dorian Yates favorite machine and he had a great back so hang on to the next machine and see what I do here for, for lap and thickness. Okay, here we have, uh, um, it, it's very similar to, to barbell row with the uh, um, underhand grip. So I will show you with a barbell also after this one, because every gym don't have this. But this is an excellent um, exercise. And why I choose the machine here is that to use a machine or free weights. When you use free weights, it's easy to sheet. Here, you have this, and you just pull, and you use your back. Okay, go on. And here, I also like everything else, three sets. And 
increase the weight for every set. Important to stretch out between every set like a pull down. So from here and then squeeze. When you don't can squeeze anymore, then you just bro quicker. Pop ah, up the last extra. Ah. And as I said, it's important to keep the back straight and squeeze. That's how you build muscle. We will do one more set. Uh, we will film it from the behind so you see how. The machine work and the back work. Okay, same machine, different angle. You have to see how it work. The lat, the thickness, pull back. The only thing is, if you do this, or a different to do with a free weight with a barbell that I show you now, is that you 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 don't need to put too much stress on your lower back like you do in a in a free weight. Now I will go over to a free weight. I just will take a barbell here. Okay, when you do this, you can grip the bar two different way. I do have the hands like I have now. Foot, shoulder width. Then you lean forward like this. And you drop it down to your knees and squeeze. This is uh, more or less the same exercise as the other one. You can also do the barber room <laughs> like Dorian Yates did in a just like a 45 degree angel but you take more on the upper back and traps. So instead of lean forward like this, you stand like this and that good lat thickness and also a good workout for your lower back and also here when I do free weights start with 20 kg weights inside and I increase with one plate for every set I do it's important to warm up with a slow weight both for the muscle and for the endure and also so you feel the squeeze because sometimes some days you're very strong you can go heavier some days you don't feel the strong then you take a lighter weight the most important when you train is to feel the pump in the muscle whatever if you do rowing or if you do a biceps it's no idea if you go to a gym you can see people stand with 45 kilo dumbbells and throw it up like this and the arms are the half size of me then it's better to take a 50 or 20 kilo and just squeeze it so you got the pump in the muscle exact same when I do the back now I squeeze to take from the bottom all the way up on the lat and also middle of the back thickness this is the one of barber row and shins you can say the two basic back exercise then of course you have deadlift and everything but that we will go to in another video now we'll go and do one more uh, rowing exercise 
Okay, now we're sitting by the cable room. But before that, uh, the shaker. Always bring this with you. In here I have SNE, brand chain amino acids, glutamine and barley starch. It's not red, but that's because I have some juice in, so to get some different flavors. It's, it's important to drink. Well, if you drink like brand chain amino acid while you train, you keep the muscles full and you repair it immediately. So that is something everybody should do. BCAA during the training. Also, it's important to get your body full of water. Okay, so let's do one. Also here you can do different kind of grips, wide grip, opposite grip, everything and everything take different parts on the back. Now we do a narrow grip cable row, take on the middle back, traps and also on the lats. So hang on here. Also here, important to squeeze the weight, so you feel the contraction and use your back, not your arms, when you do the rowing. Something that's good to do when you have back is to have the straps you can wear around, then you almost can have your hand open, then you use your back more. This was a little with back, full back workout hardcore we come future now we will going to do some chest exercises so we have the whole upper body okay let's go chest you can do with um, barbell dumbbell cable, all kind of machines. Again, here we have a hammer machine, top of the top quality. It's also so I can, can choose the kind of equipment that muscle work have, and muscle work and SNA work for, and that is hammer. It's easy, just load on the weight, free weight. You can also have the same machine with a pin, but I prefer the free weight to a better motion in them. And it's very easy. So in the end, before I show, I do more machines than free weights. Because I'm tired, it's easier, and it's not, it's not, it's easier to keep you, your muscle fresh and not make endure. I mean, if you go and do a heavy dumbbells or something, then it's better to go to cables and, and machines. So, let's go. This is for the inner and under chest. And again, let the muscle decide what weight you put on. Too heavy, you don't feel muscle. You must have a good pump in it. Okay, let's go. Again, from the bottom and squeeze all the way and hold it for a second. Get the blood in the muscle and go back. And when you can't do that anymore, then you just wrap it up. Wow! And also the nice thing with hammer is that the motion is made to build muscle. It's perfect from out and in. Squeeze the muscle all the way. So for beginners, machine is very good, but 
never ever forget the free weight because you must have the basic. I will do one more set here. I will take off the shirt to my fans and also so you see how the muscle works from the bottom to the top and the squeeze. Okay? Same exercise. Then you get a good pump in your muscle. I will also do one slice machine so you can see the angel. But as I said, you're coming up one video just chest or calves. There you see my full body workout from upper chest, middle chest, inner chest, lower chest, all the different angels to cover. But let's go to, to a flight machine that you don't do too heavy, it's more like a squeezing and you near your competition you come, the more squeeze you do, you lower the weight and squeeze it. Okay, let's go. Okay, I usually do like four, five presses and two, sometimes three, flies exercise depending, but six to seven exercises per chest. And um, the good thing with, with flies is that you stretch out the muscle and you squeeze it all the way. Don't, you can't go too super heavy, but it's a really good squeeze and build the muscle good. So let's go. Good stretch here. You can sit there for a while and then squeeze it. Ah. Then when it gets heavy, you just pump out the last stretch. That gives a really good blood flow and it's good to end up the, the ses, chest exercise when you don't have any more power to, to push. Also people that have problems with the elbows do a lot of um, flight exercises instead of presses because it doesn't stress the elbow. So that's also something you need to, to think a lot about because of course you get injured not that you tear a muscle, but you get pain very often when you do this sport and then you need to train around that because take a break for a couple of weeks just for a, to rest an elbow for biceps, that's not possible but you need to train around it maybe not train too heavy but just feel full the muscle with blood in some exercises that doesn't hurt it should hurt in the muscle but it should be a good hurt feeling, not, not a pain really, no pain. <laughs> okay, this was a little exercises for everything up, for upper body, not my abs, that will also come in a separate video. Yeah, I have some energy left, I should have a break today, but I will um, show you some uh, quad training, not the hamstring, 
that'll be separate where we'll do some quad training. So let's go.